uh, what, I, what we have said is that we're not going to specify uh, which uh, options are on or off the table. We are uh, discussing a full range of options with uh, our partners uh, at the UN and elsewhere. Uh, and, uh, um, you know, we, we expect to, to, to take action in the near term to, uh, w with the international community to, we believe, hopefully compel the Libyan government to, to stop killing its own people. We want to work with our international partners because we think the most effective action uh, uh, in many cases can be when the international community speaks with one voice and acts in a united way. Uh, I'm not, again, and I'm not, I'm not ruling out bilateral options. Our position on the unrest in these countries is not about an individual leader. It's about the, the responsibility that each government has to uh, not respond with violence to peaceful demonstrators, to not uh, uh, restrict the universal rights that, that their citizens have, uh, and to move forward with the kind of reforms that will be responsive to the legitimate aspirations of their people. It's not about personalities. Uh, it's also not about the United States. It's not about the United States dictating outcomes, picking leaders, telling countries who can run, uh, who can uh, be their leader and who can't be, uh, because what we have seen are uh, legitimate, organic, grassroots uh, risings by the peoples of these countries um, uh, demanding uh, more freedom.